Welcome back if you're a fan of the channel, and hey, welcome if you're new here. I have built what I think is the ultimate poison deck as a Paradox Rift. This deck centers itself around Toxicroak EX, who does 120 damage and can poison the uh, opponent's active Pokemon, and then adds 6 damage counters in the uh, poison checkup. You, you tie this together with Brute Bonnet, Radiant Sneasler, you have, in my opinion, the ultimate poison deck. So we can basically be looking to hit about 200 damage if we have uh, no DTEs, we hit for 120, and then we throw 8 damage counters with Radiant Sneasler. Now, Brubonnet obviously allows us to do just consistent damage by poisoning with a uh, capsule attached to it. You can hit for 30 doing that. And then we can also, also utilize uh, Atticus, which I think is a very cool card coming out of Paldean Fates, where you shuffle your hand back in your deck and draw 7. This is a mix of Iono and Research, but the opponent's Pokemon needs to be poisoned. So we can do that. Besides that, we are rocking Dark Patches to be able to spin up Pokemon very, very quickly. And we are also rocking this one prize of so Viper, who for three uh, energy, which is a little bit high, can hit for 180 damage if the active Pokemon is poisoned. So I think this deck was a lot of fun. Uh, two very interesting matchups that you guys will see, Stall and Charizard. Uh, the games go pretty well. So enjoy the games, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Temporal Forces is around the corner. So if you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button. There's going to be tons and tons and tons of Temporal Temporal con uh, Forces content coming out, and also, if you're looking to pick up some Temporal Forces product, head over to RareCandy.com. There was also just a new set announced, uh, Twi uh, Masquerade Twilight, so if you guys are interested in that, you can check them out. Use code MENACES10 at ch uh, checkout to get 10% off for all new customers. So, enjoy the matches, and I'll see you guys later. Win the toss. I think we're going to go first. I think we're going to, uh... yeah, I think my first makes sense. Krogunk down on turn one. Maybe get Brute Bonnet out, get Sneasler out, you know, start just doing some poison damage. Reversing a Psychic deck. Good for us, we weakness. But we're not trying to do weakness. We're trying to win a game on weakness. We're trying to win a game through poison. That's what we want. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> we have to mulligan, though, to start. I'm really excited about Atticus in this deck. I think Atticus can be pretty good. And I like this. I like where we are, are right now. Battle VIP, Krogunk, Toxic Croak. I'm gonna start cooking reversing blocks. Reversing block lax. Super interesting. Um I don't even think we're going to put a card down. I think we are just going to I think we're just gonna pass. I, I don't think benching there helps us at all. Um, I think it actually hurts us, so. Search your deck for two cards, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Toxic Ripper, yeah, so we're just going to try Toxic Ripper. We're just going to, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to try to do anything else. Bravery Charm, 120, and then we can put six on top, so I think we should have a KO. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. We do have to avoid things like um, Erica's Invitation and... All of those fun cards. Instant charge, very cool. Okay, so DTE would be nice. Not gonna find a DTE, which is okay. Let's just go ahead and nasty plot. Go ahead and find ourselves. What do we want here? Energy search. Did you search Dynatry? Maybe. I have to either force our, force our opponent to have to Iono here, which is good because then they aren't going to be able to, like, Erica's Invitation or anything like that. Um, or they, yeah, or or they have to, yeah, Erica's Invitation. Bring out Squovit. Not the end of the world because we do have a Switch card. And we have Turos. I should have actually probably preemptively saw that coming and then, like, Turoed. But, it's alright. The toxic croak energy search to grab another energy. We have a DT. Oh no, we can't DT that. Never mind. Do we just nest dash? I think we do. Why not? Dynasty Hill, I probably could have should have played, but it's alright. Dark patch. Go ahead and pass it back to our opponent. I think I like this because it keeps our card, it keeps our hand low. So. 
we don't like every invitation isn't is isn't an issue again um obviously if they throw away switch cards here that's bad oh escape rope not great we do have a switch that we're gonna try and find We also do have Turos, which I think Turos could also be the card that helps us get out of this, so. But in the meantime, we're just gonna chill. Road on V, okay. It's Fortune Sisters, okay, okay. Adding those misfortune sisters in. Countercatcher, not the card that we need, but Nestash. Just keep doing it, right? Keep doing it until we hit. Love Battle VIP, bro. Come on. Come on, man. And we do have a lot of cards in our. Our bonus has a lot of cards in their deck, so. I keep looking for that Misfortune Sisters. Oh, neighbor. Okay. Hmm. Let's they grab off of that. Hmm. We hit an Iono. Maybe we just hit it, right? Just drop our opponent, our opponent's cards. Find a switch card. Let's go, baby. All right, now we're cooking. Toxic Ripper. One twenty poisoned. Let's see if they can get out of it. I don't know. We still have Turos that could be a really good card for us. We have bosses. See if we can change the tides of this game. As Penny. Okay. Instant charge. Not much else they're able to do there. Okay. Don't need to retreat or anything. Let's just Arvins. Just take a look at what we got here. So it's energy search. Toxic Ripper. Keep it going. It's going to be a long game. It's going to be a long game. It just has to be against this deck. It's unfortunate. But the fact that we can poison, do a ton of damage potentially set up Skovit to start biting, you know? Eric is invitation. Ah, Krell Gunk. Welcome to the team. It's alright, we're just gonna build. We'll build up Krell Gunk. Take the KO because he's poisoned. There we go, baby. More energy. We got enough energy to go around here, so... Not too mad. Actually, I wonder if it was better to retreat there, but it's okay. A little nasty plot. I don't think Dyna Tree Hill actually helps us. We have a haunt. Do we have a dark patch in hand? No, we don't. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know what card I want here. What card helps us? Just another energy, maybe? Maybe just keep stacking energy? I don't have to show them, right? No, just put them in my hand. Alright, yeah. Maybe only grab one card. Maybe that was actually the better play. I don't know. I should have grabbed Turos. That's what I should have grabbed. 
Should have grabbed arrows. But it's okay. We can start biting. Get Iona. Is what it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's not. That's not it at all. <sighs> Alright, maybe we just go into this play of like Brute Bonnet, Sneasler, and just like continually poison. Maybe that's just the play that we rock. And just continue getting poisons off. Maybe that's the better play. Just make it so that our opponent struggles to be able to heal themselves. That's the possibility. I think we only have one capsule, though, now that I'm thinking about it. I should have went for this poison tragedy right from the beginning. I think that would have been the better play, now that I'm, now that I'm thinking about it. But it's okay. It's okay. We have a Churros to pick up Squilvit. That feels fine. We can hit and do some more damage. But uh, poisoning our opponent down could be the way out of this. And a boss's orders could also be the way out of this. Let's go ahead and nest dash. Let's get a new card. Marvin. Might be good. Toxic Ripper. Hit for 120. Put six plus eight. Eight. Take the gayo. There we go. Now he's gonna he's gonna do something, right, to get out of it, but that's okay. He's gonna have a, a counter catcher or something, right, to, to reset this and probably go into Brute Bonnet here. Um But that's okay, because Brute Bonnet can attack for 120. It's a respectable number. We can poison our opponent. We have Arvin to go ahead and grab such thing, so we're we're okay. We're okay. Arvin, grab this. We have two. Okay, we do have two. It's energy search. Do we have any energy in the discard? We do have energy in the discard. Where should I start putting that energy? Maybe we should. Maybe we should just energy search. There we go. Fortunately, it is. Unfortunately, it's it's too uh, it's too um, dark energy. What's the best card? We definitely want to get bosses back. Probably uh, probably want to get bosses back. Probably Arvin, Arvin Iona maybe. Bosses Iona, bosses Arvin, bosses Arvin. I think that's a better play. Put those two cards back in our deck, and I think we don't. I don't, I don't think we need to. Uh, I don't think we need a nest dash here. Get nest dash or get Iono. Probably Iono. I don't think Misfortune Sisters really hurts us here, except you know losing by getting milled, obviously. But <laughs> sixty damage. It's getting us closer. Is getting us closer. How much we could do. Now we should expect a counter catcher, and we want to put the DTE here. We want to build everybody up into kind of like a threat. Um, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We want to save the Iono. We do want to force him to kind of have to go into Toxic Croak, and then once he goes into Toxic Croak, we can nasty pot for the stuff that we need. So. used two pal pads i do think we can win this game it might be very very frustratingly long but i think we can win this dark patch is very good now i'm debating do i put the dt here hit for 100 130 120 i kind of like the jab here i do kind of like that Kind of like an Iono. That's okay. We're just going to nest dash back down to one. Don't really need that. Arvin. Arvin is good. Toxic Powder. Okay. It's it's a little weird of a, of a, of a match, but I, I think 
the status conditions are, are give us a little bit of an edge. I think we have enough energy on the board here to also help us. I am out of energy switches, which is kind of bad. I do think I have Earthen Vessel, so I actually might be able to get away with an Earthen Vessel. I just don't know. Does he play Lost Vacuum to kick off this? Maybe he doesn't. Okay. Lost his orders. Lost his orders doesn't help us. Oh, that's hard. Okay, I'm not playing Vessel. I guess I'm not playing Vessels. I thought I was. Okay, that's all right. Nothing we really need here. Let me just check, make sure I don't have energy here. I don't. Go back. Let's just take a look at how much energy counts we have left, because that will be important. Three. Okay, so we just have to we just have to hit it at some point. Could be right here. Dark patch. Unfortunately, not it. But that's good because we can attach here, DTE here. Then we. The only thing is, is Squill of it. Then we're short something on Squill of it. Oh, maybe we have energy in the discard one, two, or in the prizes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure, actually. Luxury Escape for 250. Okay. Worth two prizes if we could, if we could take it down. Nice. We have to. For it's gonna force him into having to. Man, pitching hammer one twenty, poison thirty one fifty. That's a KO onto a Snorlax. Let's see what our opponent does here. Countercatcher. Countercatcher. Scroll it. Kind of what we expected. Still have Turos or is Turos prized? Capsule. Here's a big brain play, people. Kill your Squovit. Kill your Squovit. <laughs> Kill your Squovit. And then go into something that has energy. This is a big brain play. I just thought of this right now, but it's a good play. It's a good play. We have 19 cards. We definitely don't want to be Atticusing. This is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I just, does, does he have the cards he needs to be able to, to make it longer? I don't think that Arvin does anything for us. I think we just nest dash. Krogunk is bad. I hope he does not have Erica's Invitation. Keeping it one card gives us a better chance of him like not Invitationing, but how many Invitations do you think he plays? One, two, he could play four, I guess, hypothetically. Uh, okay, three supporters. Back in to in your deck, okay. One, two, okay, okay, okay. I need a nice dash away. Squove it, please, please, please. Boss's orders, not, not useful at the moment. <laughs> right back into Krogon. Bro, are you joking? 150. But it's nice that we can just poison ourselves and give him a, give him a, you know, give him a card. If he can't move this out of the spot, we will have two prizes and we'll be in a very, very good spot. Boss's orders. This knees. Oh, okay. Do we still have the Dynatree? I think we do. I think we do. Nestash. Ash. 
Gogunk is unfortunately not, not the play. But we are going to poison ourselves. To start that train. It's just a potential, right? He's not going to beat us by KOs, right? He's not going to beat us by, by prizes. So we got to do something. This card is a special energy. That's rough. But we do have more. We have more. And if we hit it right here... Oh, we have a KO. We have two prizes. So... I don't think we need to add a kiss. Yeah, I don't think we need to add a kiss. We'll take our we'll take our we'll take our prizes. This is fine. I think we can do this. Oh, is it only it's only one? Wait. Oh, it's damage of an attack. Oh, that's so... <laughs> it has to be damage? That's crazy. That is crazy. There's the DTE, but we need to get rid of... We want to save the DTE here because we need it. And we need... Um... Or do we just rock it? Do we just pull it and force him to have it? Because if not, we're just going to kill ourselves through poison anyway, right? So maybe we hit the Dino Tree right here. No. <laughs> it was worth a shot. He's got another Drachmo. He's got another Drachmo. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm curious what cards he put back. I'm assuming he put Penny back. He might have. No cards that he threw away. I think him not having imitation. If he if he can get imitation back, that's gonna be bad. And he concedes. Woo! We beat we beat Stall with this poison deck. That feels so good. It feels so good. All right, let's go ahead and find another deck. Uh, let's find another match. We lose the toss. Our opponent's gonna go first. Um, well, not the end of the world. I think we do want to be going first. Um. Man, this is kind of a tough hand. Wow, what's the retreat cost on Swiper 2? We do have Arvin. We have Battle VIP Pass. We have a lot of stuff. Maybe we actually just go into Swiper here to be able to use Atticus later on? I don't know. Cyclozar, huh? What are we playing? What is this? This is a, this is a deck. See, Dark over there. He's probably listening to the same exact thing about my deck, to be fair. Um, but we can we can spit poison here, so I think we grab I think we grab Curl Gunk, I think we grab uh, I don't know what we grab actually. Yeah, you know what? I think we Arvin for oh yeah, okay. We're, we're gonna Arvin for uh, probably a second battle battle VIP. I don't have any energy. Hmm. I okay, guess let's see what we grab. Let's see what we get off the top deck. A second battle VIP pass. <laughs> Perfect. Let's grab group on it, let's grab a curl gunk. And then let's go ahead and let's grab this and this. Ooh, this feels good, actually. This feels really good. Um, we don't even need to spit here because we can just energy search and then booster capsule. Are we Oh, I remember our last game I said, oh, we're playing Turo. We were never playing Turo. I don't know how we got through that with the hope and assumption that we had Turo. But it's okay. Let's energy search. attach that here. Eh, maybe we should have went here. I think we're just going to rock this Viper for the, the time being. And what's nice is we can Atticus out of this because he will be poisoned. And then he's already poisoned. We don't need to poison him some more. It'll just be overkill. Cool. 30 damage onto the Cycles are reversing a form of Charizard. Uh, from what I can tell. If we go into the DTE, we can Venoshock, take a KO. We do want to try and obviously build Krogunk, but, uh, you know. If we can't get there, we can't get there. And we Atticus into 7. Shuffle your hand. 
and then draw seven. I think it's a sick card. I think it's a really cool card. I like the concept of it having to be poisoned. Obviously, it fits so well into this deck. So, happy we get to play it. If we get to play it. Never mind, hold on. Hold on. Here comes a Charizard off turn one. We're just going to lose to Viper. But we're going to be able to poison a Charizard. Which is cool. Poison Charizard. I don't know what we go into, though. Do we go into Krogunk? Krogunk? Maybe we should go into Squall it. Unless we find the barrel off of that. But we can we can actually, actually, if on Atticus, if we find um, if we find Dark Patch DTE, we can actually also do that, which would actually be really good. So we will lose a Viper. Venom Shock would have been nice. It's a it's a good it's a good one prizer here. Um, yeah, I think we just go into school of it. We need a lot, to be honest, but I can I can counter catch her. Oh, we find that. That's a good start. Um, I think we just add a kiss. Wow. Wow. We found so much of what we needed. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and nest ball for another crow gunk. I want to get that started as quick as humanly possible. Dark patch. Onto the very fancy full art crow gunk. Uh, we have already played a supporter for the turn. Us going in and toxic rippering this cycles art doesn't actually do a whole lot, but we can nest dash. And then we can industrious for hopefully a switch card. No switch card. It's unfortunate. I think we're just going to let it rock. Do a little bit of damage off of the poison, and then try to take a KO on the next turn. Take a KO is, is probably not going to happen. Uh, not going to happen. They won't happen. Sorry. But just do some more damage onto this Charizard. Us escape roping there just gives him more damage to hit. So he's going to loss vacuum the jerk. Well, that's, that's so rude of you, but it's okay because not only... Do we have a way to re-poison him with Toxic Ripper? We also have Arvin to go ahead and grab another uh, capsule. So I'm not not too pressed. Gotta expect that to come. That's why I ran two. That's why I ran two. Iono. Oh, I had such a good hand. I liked my hand so much. I had Arvin. I had the Toxic Croak. I had energy. I still have Arvin. I still have the Toxic Croak. I still have energy. What? That's insane. Okay. Very cool. I think off of Arvin, we grab the switch. Oh, Psych. Never mind. He's just going to kill Squillabit. Right, right, right. That's fair. That is fair. Now we can go into Toxic Croak. We can Arvin still because we want the... We want the capsule. And we have a DTE, which also feels pretty good. Uh, Toxic Croak. Let's go. Yeah, drop the DTE. Arvin for oh it's like okay well we have XP share we don't have another one but it's okay not the end of the world do have counter catcher which could be good um do you have pal pad which we could also use or we could just grab dark patch do dark pa oh, I had dark patch I should grab pal pad second Bidoof. yeah why not why not? Go ahead and Toxic Ripper here for 100 damage. Already poisoned. Another 80 on top of that. We're getting close to a KO. Getting close to a KO here. I guess the hard part is going to be uh, getting a KO after this, right? And actually, I think what could be good for us is Poison Jab. Poison Jab could actually be a really good uh, card for us to go into. I don't think we're going to have actually energy. If we if we live this turn, which we should, shouldn't die this turn, we have six prizes, um, we should go ahead and be able to take this KO, get some energy here, 
and then on the next turn die have energy come over here the, what's gonna be nice is even after we do take this ko he's not going to be able to one hit ko us right it's gonna be 240 so he's gonna need the uh defiance or whatever it is the belt which he could have but i think it's gonna be slim i think it's gonna be slim and then we need something to hit the board here we need something we need like Luminion or something, you know? Something that's not a Charizard. Or get ahead of this before before the Charizards come knocking. So before a third Charizard comes. And he's just gonna switch. Which I don't know if that's that bad for us. Toxic Ripper. We have two very easy KOs. Rogunk. I think we put this here. Uh, do, do, do. Industrious for one, I suppose. Another energy, cool. Just go ahead and Toxic Ripper. Another 80 on top. So we have a two hit KO, right? Two hit KO, we have a very easy KO onto Charizard after this. Um, he cannot one hit KO this Toxic Rook. So as long as we don't see a Charizard uh, Charmander hit the board here, I like where we're at. I like where we're at. In the next two turns, if we don't see a Charmander hit the board, we're in good we're in a good spot. So if we do see a Charmander hit the board, then I think we're kind of in trouble, because then it's a one at KO at that point. So and he will kick off our uh, our XP share. He's got one card in hand. We have a KO on the next turn. We have an energy in hand. We just gotta remember to not uh, to not um, not Iono. That's all we have to do, pretty much. Two cards remaining for our opponent. The hard part, I do think, will be... Can he finish the game with Cyclozar? That's kind of where I'm a little bit concerned. Let's attach that there. Let's go ahead and Dark Patch here. And what might be the play is us taking a KO, the next KO, in with Sneasler. I think that could be a really good play for us. Well, let's see. Arvin could be good. I don't know if we need Arvin right now. We do have a way to get energy. Okay. I like where we're at. Take our KO. I think, yeah, I think we go into Sneasler to finish off this, Char this Charizard. I think that's got to be the play. That forces him to have to have boss plus... Like he can't finish the game. He can't finish it with with Cyclozar, right? Or if he has the if he has if he has the Defiance Band, then eh, that's just unfortunate. It's just unlucky. But we put ourselves in a very good spot. If he goes into Cyclozar here, actually, that could be the play. He goes into Cyclozar, and then we have to force to we have to do something to try and get him, which he's not. Okay. So either we just lost, or we have a chance here. Let's see. See what it is, because we have Arvin for um, Countercatcher, so we're kind of okay even if he did that. Yeah. Let's see what his play is. Ah, oh. Arvin into Defiance Band, bro. Please don't have it. Don't play Defiance Band, please. Just Nest Ball. Just Nest Ball for a Charmander, please. Okay, or seal stone. Grab for a seal stone. For Rotom. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what's coming here, but we do now have a way to win the game on. Not this turn, then the, the turn after, because we can one hit KO. Ooh, actually, I don't know if we can one hit KO that. But if he didn't grab Defiance Band off of Arvin, I think we're okay. 240. Okay. Wait. Might be okay. He might be triggering up for bosses onto Cyclozar. That could happen. Attach. I think we need to try and find Iono here. I think we need to find Iono. Uh, 
Here we go, Gunk. Let's grab that. Then let's get rid of these to find that. Do that. Throw that there. Actually, maybe we should have retreated first. Eh, maybe. We do find Iona, which is awesome. Is Iona going to two? Is that better or worse? I'm trying to think of all my outs here. I feel like he just... I feel like he just goes ahead and... How much energy? Three, four, five, six. He might not have enough energy. We're going to retreat. We're going to force him to have it. We're going to force him to have it. It's, it's, this game feels too tight for me to really enjoy myself here. He needs to have an energy boss. And he can hit himself. And he can do it. And he has it. If he has energy boss, good for him. Congrats. Should I have Ionode? Probably. Looking back on it. But we're not going to think about it. Because we have... Well, we actually don't have the win here. We need escape rope. Actually, I think we have escape rope. I think we can escape rope. Yeah. I think we can escape rope to win it. Assuming that he doesn't play another mod here. But let's see what his out is. Regardless, I think this was a solid game against Charizard. Charizard cycles are... I don't really know why the cycles are in here, but... Regardless, I think this was good. This was good. But let's see if they have it. He's searching. Energy boss is what he needs. And like I said, I think I think we have escape rope in the deck. There's a boss. Boss the barrel. No. Is he just slow rolling me? What are you doing? Please, the, the suspense, man. This is killing me. This is killing me. Does he have it? That's all I want to know. He could just instant charge here. But we need a couple of things here if we don't have... If he doesn't have it, we need to uh, we need to Arvin for escape rope. Oh, we have it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's think for a second. And he concedes. I think we had it. I think we had it, people. It, it's a little preemptive, but I think we had it. I think we had the escape rope. I think we needed a DTE. I think we had it. We could have also had a um, dark patch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this poison deck. This this was actually really fun to make. Uh, I'm trying to get a little bit, trying to get a little creative before temporal dro temporal forces drops, which comes out next week. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Um, so be ready for that. Uh, Monday I'm gonna have a new video for you guys. It's gonna be sort of temporal forces related. So enjoy that. Uh, I'll see you guys on Monday and get ready for the new set dropping.